Coming up next, the Warriors taking on the Clippers. For the Warriors, 10th place in the Western Conference, but there's plenty of time left for them to make a move. Clippers, Warriors, coming up next on 2K Sports. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. And our broadcast team tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Allie LaForce, our reporter. So here's the Clippers starting group. Kawhi and Zubats make up the front court. Paul George out there with James Harden. And it's man in at the three, the small forward. And for the Warriors, the core of the Warriors dynasty on the floor. Curry and Clay is the guards with Draymond at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. All right, Grant, as a team, how long do you think it takes to figure out if you're a legitimate contender? You know, B.A., a lot of teams come into the season thinking they are contenders, and they have to find out the hard way that, quite honestly, they're just not. But go. generally, I'd say you have a good idea after the first month or so of the year. Now Harden. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's on Stephen Curry. Such a versatile guard. James Harden is a triple-double threat every single night. Well, if you're the Clippers, are you out looking for the next young star grid? Possibly, B.A. I mean, five of their top six scorers last year were over 30 years old. So they may need more production from your young guns to be a consistent contender. That's good from Harden. Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still came away with four championship rings plus two MVP trophies. Not bad. Harden hits them both. Looking back to last season, Smitty, the Clippers were as busy as anyone at the trade deadline. Well, they came into the season with high hopes, B.A., but midway through, they saw the changes had to be made. It didn't translate to playoff success, but they gave it a shot. Now here's Wiggins. The three from Curry. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. And it's Leonard with the ball for the Clippers. Goes up again. Can't hit that one. Looney with some nice D. Inside. Here's Green. The Clippers grab the miss. They're coming off that loss against Denver. It was just a challenging game for them. They executed well, but just not well enough to put themselves over the top. I think they had some key takeaways from that one. Things they did well and things they can improve upon. Oh, rejected by Wiggins. And I love the energy on defense. Wiggins working hard to come up with the block right there. Curry finds Thompson. Hits the trifecta. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. For Los Angeles, they've gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Here's Harden. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Oh, a silky floater by Harden. Making a tough shot look almost effortless. Curry against Harden. Wiggins outside. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. Pass to Zubats. Here's Mann, hounded by Wiggins. Here's George. And it's Stephen Curry with the rebound. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. And it's Green missing. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of five to start things off. George left side. And George with the jam. Nice vision from Kawhi Leonard scanning the floor and finding a ready shooter to feed. 
You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. The shot by Looney, no good. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Shot by Leonard, no good. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. And quickness to the ball. Wiggins has elite traits, and you saw them in that sequence. Timeout, timeout. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. First chance of the year for them to go up against this Warriors team. Yeah, they were impressive against this club in a clash of the Titans last year, sweeping the season series. some changes here for the Warriors. Kaminga, he's checked in for Draymond Green. Peyton comes in for Klay Thompson. And it's Chris Paul in for Stephen Curry. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Tucker's checked in for Zubats. Norm Powell comes in for Mann. Highland, he's checked in for George. And it's Westbrook in for James Harden. Now here's Wiggins. He's got five. Outside Paul. Back to Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Good work by Wiggins going right into the coverage. Now, he knows how to get himself to the line and get the shot off. No good on that one. Yeah, the first overall pick in 2014, Andrew Wiggins has carved out a nice career as a scoring wing. Good on the second one. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Kuminga against Leonard. Shot clock at five. Shoots from 14. And he connects with a jumper. The decision making of Leonard could have hit the roller, but already had the shot he wanted. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Warriors ahead, up one. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well prepared defensively coming in. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also keeping them out of sync. 
Smitty, you had your fair share of deep playoff runs. What was it like to finally break through and win a championship in 2003? You no, know, B.A. was an unbelievable feeling. Getting a chance to win the championship with that Spurs team was unbelievable. Had some Hall of Fame players, but more importantly, some Hall of Fame people. And so in the game for Los Angeles, Kyle and George are out on the wings. P.J. Tucker is out there with Ivica Zubac. And it's Westbrook in at the point guard position. And Thompson's coaching staff encourages him to take quick shots. They know how deadly he is. Westbrook, that's good. Showing off the dribble moves. Able to create for himself. I love it. Curry against Westbrook. Pass to Green. Here's Kaminga. To the paint. Oh, look at Green getting his inside. After an okay first quarter of shooting, they've really turned it up offensively. I like where they're headed right now. Westbrook taking his time here. The fadeaway. Here's Powell. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. Look at the reach and vertical by Norman Powell. Extends the possession. Tough break for the defense there. George against Thompson. To the middle. Here's Kuminga. He's off on the layup. Tremendous defensive effort. Saving a bucket right there. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Westbrook finds George with the 10-footer. The rebound by Klay Thompson. And here's Thompson. He'll bring it up for Golden State. And with a single punch in last season's training camp, it seems the Warriors' culture of joy and togetherness really took a hit, Grant. You know, I agree, B.A., and that's what they need to recover from. You know, keeping that connection and commitment to a common purpose is so crucial to winning. Golden State has gone three of four from distance in this game. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Clippers. All right, let's use this time to see some real stats, real scores from the real NBA, and see the teams with the best rebounding numbers this season. Number five, the Warriors. This team has done a great job of hitting the boards, and they do tremendous work boxing out. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. That's his first foul. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Joseph is checked in for Peyton. Man, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Harden comes in for Russell Westbrook. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. George passes to Tucker. Here's Mann. Three-pointer. Another shot. Here's Zubac. Pass to Mann. And finally, they hit one. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. He can't get that one to fall. Oh, excellent D there from Harden. 55 seconds left to play in the first half. That ties the game. The D keyed in too much on Harden there, leaving his man wide open. The Warriors have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Outside Curry. Thompson outside. Pass to Joseph. Shot clock at six. From deep three-point land. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got his fifth rebound in this one. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Nice shot by Harden. And they're trending in the right direction after a rough first quarter from the field. Curry looking it over. Pass to Kaminga. Here's Thompson. And again, no good by Golden State. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Clippers on top, leading by just two.
Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks so much, guys. Do a strong first half for this team. What was the mindset that gave you guys the lead? We just had to be ourselves, you know, just be ourselves, move the ball, place the unselfish, and uh, we're going to get ourselves an offense. Stay true to you, guys. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. A pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. And in that period, the most they trailed by was three. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? It's great to see a team going inside, challenging the defense in the paint. You don't see that mentality as often in today's game. So much is perimeter. Guys want to stay on the outside. They don't want to get sweat equity. Check. what are your thoughts on Golden State? They've yeah, got to be more assertive on the glass. Getting out hustle is a great way to lose a game. But in the second half, if they can generate extra possessions, it will go a long way toward getting the W. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Nice game. What a performance by James Harden. You know, I'm not really sure what defenders can do to slow him down. He's just too skilled. You know, you almost take it for granted. You look at his numbers from the first half. They're just expected at this point. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. The core of the Warriors dynasty on the floor. Curry and Clay is the guards with Draymond at the four. Kevon Looney is out there with Andrew Wiggins. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Now here's Leonard. Step back and fire. Here's Zubats. Drops in the layup for two. Zubats has got his second bucket on the night. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Curry against Harden. Curry gets the bucket. When you think of this skinny kid that first entered the league, and then now you see his biceps, Stephen Curry has been putting in work. You know, on a permanent basis, Evita Zubats is one of the top rebounders in the league, Smitty. B.A., that's his primary role, along with setting good screens. He has the size, toughness, and instincts to excel at those responsibilities. Now here's George. Phenomenal stats on a consistent basis. Puts up over 24 points a game. Wiggins passes to Curry. Pass to Looney. Oh, look at Looney finding space inside. What a look from Curry. Saw the defense leaning and found the open man with ease. Here's George. Chalk up two there. George has got his second basket. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Harden against Curry. Looney high post. And that one barely misses as he draws contact. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, good whistle there. He misses the free throw. Ah, the golden years for the L.A. Clippers, Smitty. Those Lob City teams. Woo, I miss those days, B.A. Chris Paul tossing up alley-oops. 
to DeAndre Jordan and Blake Griffin, those three pretty much won 50 plus games every season. And man, were they fun to watch. Payton's checked in for the Warriors. Paul comes in for Stephen Curry. And he sinks the second. And here's Westbrook. An important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. Oh, stolen by Payton. In transition, here come the Warriors. Here's Wiggins. Oh, look at Wiggins finishing transition. Showing patience, taking time to read the defense. Draymond finds the open man. Highland against Payton. Now here's Highland. He's covered closely. Good D by Payton. And so Paul will bring it up for the Warriors. It's a one-point game. When this one's in the books, they'll be off to Sacramento, taking on the Kings. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. And they're shooting with much more confidence here in the second half. The field goal percentage is now over 50%. Now here's Highland. He's scoreless. Down low. Here's Leonard. That shot off the mark. Green with the defensive effort. The Warriors have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Draymond Green is one of the most versatile defenders in league history. He said, quote, I'm comfortable guarding anybody. But he also said, I love playing against those big guys. They're thinking they've got a mismatch, but I'm built for this. It won't be as easy as you think it's going to be, Brian. Ali, he always takes that challenge, doesn't he? Thank you. As usual, he's laser focused on defense. That's a nice shot contest. And this is where you would prefer to work the ball to someone else for just a better look. Now here's Westbrook to end the run. And it's good on the layup. There's close coverage, there's contact, but then there's Russell Westbrook. It does not bother him at all. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. I see him. To the inside. Peyton's shot is good. Peyton's got his second basket on the night. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Hey, hey, right here. Leonard looking over the floor. Powell outside. Shoots over Wiggins. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. The third quarter comes to a close. Warriors ahead, up by five. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. Steve Kerr with some words for his players. Defense has been fantastic. Great defense. Offense, simple passes will get it done, right? You guys look great, though. Keep the pressure on. Paying his guys the respect they deserve. Coach Kerr, he likes what he sees. It's important to praise your guys when they're playing well. Coach understands how crucial it is to recognize effort. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. They've got Terrence Mann. P.J. Tucker is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Paul George. And it's Harden in at the point. On the wing, Curry. George defending. Curry's shot is off. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Yep, count it. What a make. The beard, never afraid of contact. The Warriors leading. Outside Paul. Looney up top. Checked by Tucker. Paul looking it over. Six to shoot. Here's the three. Paul George pulls down the board. Aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. Pass to Tucker. Leonard with the ball. The layup off target. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Curry's shot is off. The Clippers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Leonard passes to Mann.
Little turnaround. Misses off the right iron. The Warriors have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Peyton against George. Here's a three from Paul. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Fantastic perimeter defense. His coaches and teammates have to appreciate this kind of effort. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. Now here's George. Over Peyton. And it's cleared by Stephen Curry. The Warriors shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. This one for three. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And here's Harden. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. Leonard against Paul. Leonard passes to Mann. Inside. Here's Tucker. And no good. Looney with some nice D. Curry against George to win the cold spell. Oh, he nails it! You talk about pressure situation. Stephen Curry lives for these moments. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. They're losing by five. 54 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. present our new balance player of the game Stephen Curry and I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset I mean he had the energy and the intensity all game he didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the room and the Clippers making a change here Zubox has checked in time now to hear from our reporter Ali LaForce during that last break coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team and they were blunt with their team telling them if they want to win the comeback has to start right now they can't waste any possessions. Plus, they told the players, we need some stops. A very direct way to communicate, Brian. All right, appreciate it, Allie. And the game isn't over yet, but they have to move quickly. You know what? They're focused right now. Every possession has to yield points. Now here's Harden. Harden to down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Hate to see that. I know everyone's mind is on the play, but you've got to protect the ball. Oh, lots of drama in this game so far. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes down to the final buzzer. Yeah, no, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. And he commits the intentional foul. He gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. A guy who hits over 90% from the line for his career, Curry trying to put his team over the hump here. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. A productive trip to the line right there makes this a two-possession game. The Clippers call timeout. They're down by five. 20 seconds left in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? Searching for a fast bucket, then a way to stretch things out. And on a defensive end, they'll have to foul whomever gets the ball. No time left to be picky.
Harden finds Leonard. Now here's George. Back to Leonard. Now Zubats. Leonard outside. Pass to Harden on the wing man. Let's go with a three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. So the first one drops, and that increases the lead to six. It takes fundamentals to knock down free throws, and Steph is one of the best at it. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. Fires from way outside. And so the Warriors take the win. This one was in the balance right until the final seconds. And B.A., they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Hope you'll come again soon. I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And uh, it's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.